30 years ago, Nigel Benn and Chris Eubank fought for the second and final time, ending the biggest British rivalry we've ever seen. I have to say, there seems an element of genuine hate between these two, Ambrose. For sure. I personally do hate him. I personally do hate him. He's all hype. He's all hype, you know, and I, I can't wait to November the 18th to give him a good, good hiding. The public is demanding this, you know, I walk down the street, people say, hey, give this boy a hiding. The highly anticipated rematch between Chris Eubank and Nigel Benn took place at Old Trafford, the home of football club Manchester United in front of 42,000 fans and with 15 million watching the rematch. The second fight ending in a draw, the rivalry continues. Now, 114 to 114, even a draw, the decision Yes, it's a draw. The tension between Chris Eubank Jr. and Connor Ben is beginning to rise once again, with Eddie Hearn desperate to make a deal for the fight, possibly in the Middle East of 2024. I believe it's a physical impossibility that you get anywhere close to me. Prove me wrong. You're in for a shock of your life, you know that? No, you are. What, are you think I'm going to be a walk in the park? I mean, yeah, on a, on a nice summer's day. It talks rubbish. Oh, it's absolutely smashing to pieces. Happily, yeah. happily, this guy probably would have given him a good beating. Connor Ben, now 22 and 0, is known for his relentless aggression overwhelming his opponents, making waves with each fight proving his mettle and aiming for greatness. Connor is the one coming in undefeated. His stock is rising quickly. He doesn't know defeat. And a man who doesn't know defeat, you don't know how far he can go. So we have no idea what Connor Ben's level is because no one's shown it yet. With Connor Ben's last two out of three fights ending in a vicious fashion, knocking out Chris Algieri in the fourth round in December of 2021. It's been a phenomenal rise. Oh, good one, two, and he's down! Left right combination, and it is all over in an instant. Bob Williams, the referee, after stricken Chris Algieri. Ben went on to face Chris Van Herden on April 16th of 2022 in Manchester, finishing him in the second round by TKO, taking his record to 21-0 with 14 knockouts. A different kind of challenge presented by a southpaw. Only the second that Conor Ben has faced in his career. Big right hand. So often the best shot against a southpaw. And Van Hurt is badly hurt and goes down. With still two minutes to go in the second round. He's in bad shape and the referee decides he's seen enough. Conor Ben was scheduled to fight Chris Eubank Jr. on the 8th of October 2022 at the O2 Arena in London. Prior to the fight. Eubank Jr. would have back-to-back -back wins until facing George Groves in the World Boxing Super Series semi-final, losing to Groves by a unanimous points decision. in the atmosphere just before that first bell. It's going to be electric. Boxing fans, sports fans are going to me, um, oh, are their sons going to fight? I'm like, no, no, never, never. Like, weights are different, they're at different levels of the career, and but here we are. You know, I, I just think it's a great fight. So much on the line, two tremendous fires, and you're going to see a thriller on Saturday. The fact of the matter is, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. I'm intrigued, I can't wait. But I genuinely have no idea who's going to win this fight. The big fight this weekend is off. 
Ben failed a drugs test. He was found to have taken a fertility drug. Ben failed two drugs tests in July and September before his bout versus Eubank Jr. was dramatically cancelled, three days before it was scheduled to take place at the O2 Arena. One of the biggest British rivalry fights of all time was off. So my team will find out as to why there's been an initial adverse finding in my in my test. Three months down the line and Eubank Jr. would find his replacement of Conor Ben and Liam Smith. Many were billing it as a make-or-break fight for both men. Whoever emerged victorious was likely to push on towards a world title shot, while the loser would struggle to face the big names in future fights. Good up a good there from Eubank. Goes again for it. Good shots there from Eubank. And just again. got his feet a little bit closer there. He's landed two, three in a row, and this is a good round for Eubank. That was a really good Eubank Jr. had some early success in the third, catching Smith on the way in. The fourth round was all Smith, stopping Eubank Jr. after dropping him twice. The referee waved the fight off. Conor Ben soon took to social media to let Eubank Jr. know what would happen if the two was to fight at 160 pounds. Eight months later, Eubank Jr. had his chance at revenge against Smith. With a second fight seeming like a completely different Liam Smith. But Eubank is fighting for his career. Smith is looking to end it. Repeat or revenge. Oh, good shot. Eubank dropped Smith in the 4th and 10th round, and then would go on to stop Liam Smith with one minute remaining in the 10th, with the referee waving the fight off. Eubank took his record to a total of 33 wins and 3 losses with 24 knockouts. Conor Ben would make his return to the ring against Rodolfo Orozco, after being out of the ring for almost 18 months, clearly stating he needs no warm-up fights and wants to get straight back at it. Yeah, listen, there's no pressure. Um, you know, I'm just going to go in there and do what I do, do what I love, and do what I know how to do. I was born to fight. And, um, you know, Saturday night's been a long time coming. You know, I've had to jump through so many hurdles. Um, you know, it's been the hardest fight of my life this period, but, you know, what can he do to me? You know, what, what's he, what can he bring? You know, I'm just going to go out there and do what I do. And, you know, if I see an opening, I'm going to take it. No doubt. Y seguro yo también he venido muy preparado. Yo soy super listo para esta pelea. Uh, yo he tenido mucho tiempo, ¿sabes? Look at that right hand from Ben, and that staggered Orozco back. Not only that, but it was a left body shot that also got the attention of Orozco. Right now, Ben measuring and lands a nice uppercut. Love that uppercut. By Connor Ben. Connor Ben constantly hammered Rodolfo Orozco with the Mora catching shots in their 10 round fight in Orlando. Ben continued to land flush throughout the whole fight, yet was unable to make a serious dent in Orozco. Ben saw out a comfortable victory and was declared the winner by unanimous decision. If it had any effect on Connor Ben, who rips a leg. After getting the win comfortably over Orozco, could Conor Ben compete at a higher level at the middleweight division, or would the elites at the middleweight division and be too much for him? undefeated Conor, the Destroyer Ben!